Welcome back to McDSP TV. We hope you are ready for some exciting news because McDSP is thrilled to introduce our new AE600 Active Equalizer. The AE600 builds on the foundation that the AE400 brought to the audio world. With new and unique EQ modes, independent control of fixed and active EQ bands, and an ultra low latency algorithm. Available in mono and stereo versions for AAX DSP, AAX native, audio units, and VS. ST, the AE600 provides audio engineers with the perfect EQ for any audio production with the sound quality that McDSP has built its reputation upon. Let's take a closer look at the AE600, then wrap it up with some demos of the AE600 at work. The AE600 has six fully overlapping and independently controlled active and fixed equalizer bands. Each band has its own gain, frequency, Q, and EQ mode controls for both active and fixed equalization. The frequency and Q controls can be locked and will move in tandem or unlocked to work independently for even more flexibility. To temporarily disable either the active or fixed EQs, simply click on the word at the top and click it again to re-enable. There are master and link controls along with a solo button that allow the user to hear only the effect of the soloed bands on the entire input signal. Each active band also has threshold, ratio, attack, and release controls for adjusting the response of the active EQ. In normal operation, the active equalization starts as the signal level rises above the threshold value. After the signal passes that threshold, you can choose either to increase or decrease the gain of that selected EQ band. You can invert this behavior by clicking the INV button, causing the active equalization to start when the signal level is below the threshold value and diminish as it crosses above the threshold. Most of the text readouts can be adjusted from the keyboard or by the movement of a mouse. Frequency and gain controls can also be modified by moving the dots on the EQ plot display. You can quickly disable an EQ by double-clicking a display plot and restore it with a single click or by clicking the active and fixed buttons at the top of each band. The active EQ can be triggered from the direct input signal or an external source. Clicking the speaker icon allows the user to monitor the key signal for a given active band to help hone in on targeted frequencies. Clicking on the key button at the bottom of the display plot shows the key filters for each band. The input and output section has metering and gain controls for input and output signals as well as peak indicators. Each band's active and fixed elements can be completely bypassed by clicking a band number in the enable section. And finally, there are global high and low pass pre-filters that can be used to filter the key signal to the active and fixed EQ as needed. Now let's take a closer look at the new EQ modes available in the AE600. Each of the AE600 bands active and fixed EQs have 13 different EQ modes that can be selected independently to create some very effective and in some cases unusual EQ curves. The original mode is a standard parametric EQ. The 5x mode is 5 times the standard parametric Q value for those very surgical EQ shaping needs. The Q plus mode is a proportional Q parametric where the Q value increases or decreases to match the change in gain for a more focused response at higher and lower levels. The LSBX is a Baxendall low shelving EQ. The LSV is a vintage style low shelving EQ designed by McDSP and the Q value can be used to alter the vintage response curve. The LSX is a new X style shelving EQ also designed by McDSP and can be shaped by altering the Q value which will adjust the amount of gain in an opposing shelving band above or below the primary shelving band. The HSBX V and X options are the high shelf versions of the Baxendall, Vintage, and X mode EQs. The 
The LBXF is a Baxendall low shelf EQ with a high pass filter placed approximately an octave below the shelving EQ frequency. The HBXF is a Baxendall high shelf EQ with a low pass filter placed approximately an octave above the shelving EQ frequency. And finally, we have high and low pass filters with adjustable resonant peaks. Use the gain controls to adjust the peak value. Any of these options can be used on any of the EQs, and since all of the AE600 parameters are automatable, it opens up a myriad of options for boosting, cutting, and filtering. Whether you need some broadband EQing, surgical notching to combat syllabus issues, or you're looking to create some crazy filtering effects, the AE600 has the power and flexibility to get the job done. Now let's take a look at the AE600 at work in these demos. For our first demo, let's use the AE600 to clean up and enhance this two-track drum beat. Starting with the low end, on active band 1, I'll use the high pass filter with adjustable resonant peak at 60 Hz to roll off the extreme low end rumble while boosting the beef of the kick drum. To adjust the resonant peak, simply boost or cut the gain value. Now we only want the kick to be accented, so the threshold needs to come down until only the kick makes a trigger. I'll use the threshold indicator to the left of every active band that shows the key input signal as my guide. That's good, but since I am not driving the band too hard, I need to increase the ratio so it reacts more when triggered. Let's AB. Next, let's cut out some of the low mids around 325 to help tighten up the bottom some more. I'll use fixed band 2, set to the original mode, and cut 6 dB. Using active band 4, let's find the meat of the snare and give it some more focus. To do that, I'll use the key listen feature to help find the sweet spot. Let's go with 1.8K, give it a 6 dB bump, and widen the cue a little bit more. Again, I'll dial in the threshold and ratio so we're mainly getting the snare response. Next, let's tame the hi-hat since it's a little on the harsh side. I'll set active band 5 to 7K and cut 9 dB. I don't want this to spill over too much, so I'll tighten the Q and set the Q mode to proportional parametric and dial it in. Finally, let's give the top some more air. Using fixed band 6, I'll leave it at 12K and give it a 6 dB bump and I'll use the high shelf Baxendahl mode to give it a nice upward taper. Here it is bypassed, engaged, bypassed, and engaged. That really tightens up the track. Let's take a look at this vocal passage and see how the AE600 is being used to improve it. We can see that fixed band 5 has a 7 dB boost at 6K to give it some more overall presence. Active band 6 is set to 7.4K and cutting minus 15 dB with a fairly tight Q value using the proportional Q parametric mode to help counter some of the overall exaggerated syllabance caused by the broad 6K boost. Active Band 5 has an even tighter 5x cue that's notching out some of the nastiness at 2.5k. Active Band 4 is scooping out some of the mouth noises around 1.3k, also using the proportional cue parametric mode. Active Band 3 is taking a little boxiness out of the vocal at around 500 Hz using the original cue mode. 
Rounding out the bottom end, Active Band 2 is set to Baxendall mode with a 3 dB bump at 225Hz with the pre-filter high pass rolling off 12 dB per octave at 80Hz to roll off the extra mud. Here it is bypassed. Streets are silver, fields are gold. We are rich, but we don't know. We were nothing when we were alone. Engaged. Streets are silver, fields are gold. We are rich, but we don't know. We were nothing when we were alone. Bypassed. Streets are silver, fields are gold. We are rich, but we don't know. We were nothing when we were alone. And engaged. Streets are silver, fields are gold. We are rich, but we don't know. We were nothing when we were alone. For our last demo, let's listen to part of this electronic music track, then we'll hear how the AE600 can be used in parallel to enhance and add more dimension to it. That's pretty good, but like an engineer, let's hear how the AE600 can make it better. Before we hear it, some of the key points to notice are Active Band 2 reinforcing the pulse of the kick drum, Active Band 3 is set to high shelf X mode and will be oscillating with the beat of the rhythm section, Fixed Band 4 is adding more presence, Active Bands 4 and 5 have tight cues and will be sweeping to create flanging effects, and active bands 1 and 6 will be using the high and low pass resonant peak modes to do some wild filtering. Again, here is a bit of the main track by itself first. And here is just the parallel AE600 track. Now all of it together, and yes there will be a rise in gain, but focus on what the AE600 track adds to the main mix. Whether you need a simple yet flexible EQ, or a complex DSing configuration, or some out-of-the-box filtering, the AE600 from McDSP has you covered. This incredibly versatile EQ plugin will open up a world of possibilities for audio engineers with its six independent bands of fixed EQ, and its six independent bands of active EQ, and 13 EQ modes for all of the bands. Engineers now have the ability to be as basic or complex as they need when it comes to EQing audio. Available in mono and stereo versions for AAX DSP, AAX Native, Audio Units, and VST. Head over to mcdsp.com and download your free demo today. Thanks for watching and have a great time recording with McDSP. DSP.